Well, good day, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. All right, um, it's finally <laughs> time for sweet potato harvest. <laughs> Uh, it's getting a little late in the day. I've been waiting for my little helper here to be over here and ready to go. And yeah, let's get into it. These are sweet potatoes. They're starting to look uh, a little bit exhausted. Bugs have been getting to them, that sort of thing. A lot of yellow leaves. So this is about the time we're looking to do harvest. This is the one that's been flowering. Flowers are all finished. So yeah, time to go. So we're gonna start with some of the Beauregards. This is the orange sweet potato. Gonna cut them off from the bottom. Ow. All right, let's see what we got. <laughs> go ahead, it's squeak. All right, as you can see, we've got roots all the way down the bottom and started to form some very small tubers down the bottom here. Yeah, <laughs> let's, there's my tag off the original plant. <laughs> let's break it open, see what we've got. Do you see one? Hey. <gasps> ah, it's right there. What's it? I'm right there. Can you say sweet potato? You can. There's a better one. I found that. You found that? Yeah. Thank you. Did you do it all by yourself? I got that. Oh, looky here. It's big. It's big. It's good. Here. Yeah, you found those there? Yeah. Is that because I put them there, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> I find that is right there. Ah, look. <laughs> I find that too. Yeah, you can Did pull you it off. Did you find it? <laughs> hey, did you find it or did Pa find it? It's me. <laughs> you. It's right there. Yeah, well, just wait. Let me free it up a bit. Oh, it's right there. That one's nice and big. There's a little one. I think there was another one in that. No, it's just tops. I never like that. Yeah. <gasps> it's right there! It's right there! <laughs> it's big. Hey, look. Do you want to hold the worm? Do you want help? Yeah. Okay. Can I grab it for you? Yeah. There you go. <coughs> yep. <laughs> it's fine on your feet. All right, be gentle with him. I know I don't. You don't want, <laughs> want him now? <laughs> All right. Is he yucky? Okay, we're going to refill the buckets and we're going to try some winter starts. They probably won't work. But, worth a try. Mama. No, that's enough. Okay. Right, so what we're doing is we're taking the freshest, healthiest tips that look like they got a bit of growth. We're just going to put them back in the buckets. One for each bucket. and we're gonna see if we can get those to shoot over the winter period. It's, look, they're gonna struggle, but it's worth a gamble. I'm just gonna put some frost cloth over the top of that, which will let the rain through, but it'll protect them from frost a little bit. 
and we'll see how they go come springtime whether we get a fresh crop out of them but we'll just put the tag from the original plant back in and this is the third generation of this plant grown from the tips all right so out of the three buckets of burrogars we harvested you know we've got oh, half a bucket some of them are little ones but there's some respectable potatoes in there too all right let's move on to the other ones next up we've got uh, our bag of white sweet potatoes let's see how they're going Purple. Yeah. Maybe um, it wasn't the white. It's what is that? Okay. That is really disappointing considering the amount of runners that it had. That there's no tubers in there. I've got some started ones, we'll see how they do for next year. So we're up to Hawaiian sweet potato. I read that too. You want to read that too? Okay, you read that. What does it say? There's one. It's split, but that's produced. All right, put it in the bucket. It's there. There. In that bucket. No. Yes. No. Yes. I can't eat it. No, that's a potato bag. I know that. Well, if you know that, then why didn't you put it in the potato bucket? I know that. Why are you arguing with me? <laughs> now the soil in them is seeming a bit hydrophobic. Um, doesn't seem moist enough and it seems like it's not holding the water so we will have to use some yeah. detergent um, I'll use a green biodegradable detergent and add that to it so we can try and break that Daddy. Daddy. I'm going to pull this one which hasn't had a lot of time it's the Jeez. white potato in the bucket <laughs> Uh, and see if that's done any better at producing. Alright, and it has done better. So, happy to see that. Really happy to see these. It means that they are growing. Um, it just obviously didn't work so well in the original grow bags with the original plants. So, we shall carry on to next year and see what happens. Okay, these ones are our Kumara, which is the one that was actually flowering. So let's see how this one died. <coughs> this one, although it's faring pretty dry, we do have potatoes in it. Not a monster hole. Okay, that's formed up some roots that we're heading towards potatoes, but they didn't actually turn into potatoes. Mm. And if we can make them make a start, we got to start on next year's crop. This one's our northern star, right on the surface here. There's an absolute beauty. Munchkin! So this one here, as you can see, that's split. Um, split, it's healed, it's come back. Uh, this is where it suffered for watering during the summertime. So that gives us a clue as to what happened with the other ones. That's so big. That's so big? Yeah. So I'll take that inside. I'll cut it up. I'll save what I can off it. This one is the Molokai sweet potato which I didn't get from a shop I bought from a lady over in first these ones are naturally a smaller sweet potato so let's see how we went we 
we have some potatoes. Mm. All right, we're losing light, so we'll call it there. Mm. And I'll finish it off tomorrow. Now, I had to cut it short last night because of the increasing darkness. All right. Got some weird fellas. Uh, this is the harvest so far. We've got a bucket full. Um, this one here, absolutely weird. As you can see, it's been affected a lot. Uh, there's a lot of splitting in it. You know, I've got a lot of splitting in a fair few of them. And I'd say that's because of the inconsistent watering it got over the summer. Um, that one looks like a Northern Star or a Coomera. Bit of split in the top, but you know, that's a pretty good potato. Uh, that there is one of the Molokai's, uh, which is a purple flesh. And that that's a pretty good size for a Molokai. Um, Molokai's didn't produce that much, but the ones they did produce were pretty good potatoes. Uh, again, Northern Star, I'd say, without going back and checking it. Uh, it's not too bad a haul. Uh, I'm going to go through and check a couple of the things that we didn't get done last night. So bear with me and we'll do a few more. Here we've got the other startup bag of the Molokai's. I'm going to pull them out a little bit more gently. Uh, the tubers I got from the original were fine to go back in the ground. So I'm not going to cut all the top off. I'm going to tidy the tops, take away anything that needs to come away. Whereas normally I just cut the tops down and put the tips back in the ground. But if I can put the tubers back in the ground, that's a bonus. Here's what I was talking about there. There's our fruit. So it's only produced a single fruit on it. Uh, there's our tuber. And as you can see, the tuber has produced a few more plants. So what we'll do is we'll replant that original tuber with those plants and see how we go for next year on it. A nice lovely big tuber coming off it. And plenty of growth still there. So again, we'll save that one. Okay, so there's that bag cleaned out, as you can see. Not a fantastic harvest, but not a bad harvest off them either. You know, there's a couple there meals there for me, or one meal for the family. There we go, that's what one planted up, ready to rock and roll. If it makes it through the winter, awesome. And it can produce for next year. If it doesn't, no great loss. Here we have my first transplant of the Northern Star. Now, I'm not sure if the camera's gonna make it out or not. There's some super fine hairs on here. Much like the super fine hairs on a potato, these are the parts that are gonna turn into roots. And there's your new shoots coming out of the nodes. So just break off the leaves. I'm going to leave a fairly fine top and that's going to go through to be one of our attempts for a winter shoot. All right, once we've got our starts taken care of, we can just clip it back. Uh, 
Let's have a look and see how it's done. Root development's pretty good. But looks like we're pretty small on tuber size. Alright, this one is a pretty good indicator actually. Um, tubers are small, but it was propagated um, off another plant, which was which was a first year plant. And this one was propagated after that whole watering issue during the summer. So the fact that we've got a few tubers, look, there's nothing there to write home about. But if they had a bit more development time, and normally I wouldn't have picked them. Um, you know, if I was working off second year plants, I could have propagated a lot earlier. And when I picked them, they would have come up beautiful. You know, the Beauregards were second year plants. So, for something that hasn't grown too long, that's not a bad little harvest. This fella here is another one of those transplants. Um, so, again, I'm going to pull it just to see whereabouts it's at. Ooh, that's more what we're looking for. Okay, again, a late season pot up for this one. And yeah, much better. So yeah, that summer lack of water really has hurt me. It has hurt me a lot when it's come to this year's harvest. All right, so this one should be a Kumara. And that actually looks like a potato. That's weird. So we might have a bit of potato left in the soil. Okay, this little potato plant. I'm gonna transplant that one and give it a chance to do good. Off the bottom of it, we got a little piece of potato, so it looks looks like it's tried to go through the holes in the bucket. There we go, there's the one that was growing through the holes. There's that potato that was shooting. So that can go in with the top. And by the looks of things, that's a purple potato of some kind. So again, you know, that, that one only had two plants in it. Um, and we're harvesting way too early for it, but it's produced. It's produced pretty well. Um, so I'm certainly not disappointed in any of these second transplants. Um, the originals didn't do well, but it looks like that's down purely to the watering. Um, and hopefully they're all gonna do better next year. A little bit of an overview. Um, certainly not disappointed in my Beauregards, they've done fantastically uh, really happy with them um, Molokai's they haven't done too bad at all considering they're a small tuber they've only produced one for each plant um, but yeah done well had these weird fellas that one which I'm going to carve away the outside if there's still good flesh on the inside I'm still going to eat that um, as long as I cut away anything that's that's fun punky or bad yeah, and it, it seems solid so it still seems like it's a good potato but it's as ugly as all get out again this one here as ugly as all get out but by the time I cut that center where it's split it should work well um, with these new ones that didn't suffer from uh, the watering issues have done really, really well. Really happy with them. 
uh, and that tells me that as long as we keep on top of the water for next year I should receive a bumper crop and it's it's all going to be a matter of learning it always is when you try something new I only started sweet potatoes last year um, so yeah this is second year sweet potatoes and you can't be disappointed with that can you now all that leftover green growth uh, sweet potato leaves are edible uh, I'm not gonna eat them because I don't like greens anyway so they're going out the chickens as much as the root matter as I can pull out that's going out the chickens chickens aren't the best users of that uh, it'd be ideal if we could if I could feed it to a pig um, but Terry's pigs over in Georgia so I can't um, and it's also full of tiny little sweet potatoes again great calories for a pig um, all right there we go there is our sweet potato harvest for 2022 thank you very much for watching and bye for now